Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back to episode 43, I think now, Factions, hope you guys enjoy, and in today's episode, we're just going to be doing a little bit of a progression, progression video, I'm going to be showing you guys what we've done so far, and I'll just be doing some of the things that, while I'm online, on recording, I guess you could say, so, pretty much, I'm going to show off the cactus farm so far, as you can probably see, the cactus farm is finally done, uh, this is around the third day of the reset, we have officially finished the 3x3 chunk cactus farm, after about five minutes of world editing it in with our OP frickin' mod powers. No, I'm joking. We, we don't, we can't do anything like that, but... I don't know, lots of people have <laughs> come to the conclusion that we world edit walls and cactus farms in, so... I don't know what's with that, but, uh, we'll just go with it, okay? But, uh, yeah, we have officially finished it. At the moment, they're just working on watering the cactus farm, so if you go all the way down here... Uh, pretty much, we have put sponges underneath a bunch of the cactus. And what that's going to do is just make sure the water doesn't just, like screw with the currents and everything. But as you can see, like, look look at all the freaking cactus. This is just, it's making bank. Like, this thing has been making crazy money. It's actually been quite insane. Uh, definitely well worth making this cactus farm, I'll tell you that now. But uh, that's pretty much all we've done with regards to the cactus farm. We have dug the trenches of the walls that we did uh, for last episode, I believe. So that's uh, pretty good with that. Um, we have now also started on our base, which I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, there's not really too much to do at the moment. We've got the initial shell. Uh, we've got a bunch of walls set up to pour, which I'm going to be doing in this episode. I'll uh, start doing that now while I'm talking. And then I'll probably do like a little speed up or something. I'm getting a bit of a lag. Uh, hence the reason why I'm on light client right now. Uh, that's just so I don't lag while jetting or anything like that. Uh, if you guys want, like, a download or anything like that, uh, which makes me also, uh, need to say, uh, a few of you guys have been asking about me releasing my mod pack and stuff like that. I think I will do that next episode, or uh, I'll do that in this episode, actually. The link will be down below. Um, I actually forgot about it last episode, so I apologize to the people who asked about it. And who haven't got it for the last like one to two episodes that they asked, so I'll be doing that in this video along with the download to Light Client if you guys would like that. Uh, and pretty much that is all for this little clip. I'll probably be doing some sponge trays and stuff for the uh, base later. I'll do a little speed up of that or something like that. But I'll, I'll just do a little progression cuts. Uh, we still got to do our water layers. I'll uh, do like a speed up of that as well. Uh, so, I think that we have a lot to do now, seeing that we've got to gen our base and do our corner pillars and everything like that. Uh, so, this episode should be uh, pretty good, because we're going to be going ham today. Uh, this is only the start of day three. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll be back with the next clip, which will be the speed up of uh, me genning these walls. So, I'll be back in just a second.
Welcome back to the next clip of this episode. Pretty much for this little clip that I'm showing you guys right now, I'm going to be doing just a little bit of a progress of what we've done recently in the last, uh, I think, four to five hours since I've last recorded those last two clips that you just saw. Uh, since then, we have now watered and done all 20 walls on each side and uh, slabbed them down below, as you can see. Uh, we've also added sponge trays in and done almost a full buffer of sponge trays on one side i think it's this side that we went absolute ham on uh, i believe it's the other side yeah wait is it this side or is it the other side i'm gonna fly out real quick and check that yeah it's probably this side no 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 it was the other side but anyways yeah we got like a full side of sponge trays done we got it all the way to the end of our claims so that'll be pretty good we'll be able to pour a full buffer of walls soon so we'll get that done probably by next episode actually by next episode we should have a full buffer of walls on each side or at least 80 or something around there and uh we should be starting to do our corner pillars so for the meantime uh we've still got to build one wall manually as you can see here uh we ended up having to gen one away from here just for the fact that I really didn't really want to unwater our base at the moment, seeing that people had already found it, it was unsafe, and I didn't want people getting in our base just because we had to gen. So, I decided to uh, have to build one wall by hand, uh, well, three actually. It won't take too long, it won't be too bad, but the only sad part about my freaking mini-map, so if you guys don't know, I am a huge, huge on my OCD uh, when it comes to Minecraft. Like, things need to look nice, otherwise I'm going to be... I, I don't know, it just, it'll just annoy me, really. And what's going on with my Minecraft right now, or well, my mini-map anyway, is, as you can see, literally, uh, if you look where my character is on the mini-map, you can literally see that that little glitch thing out. And, and it happens on nearly every single base I make. And I don't have a clue why, whether it's a lighting bug, or whether it's something, like, I don't know, because there's nothing different with that wall. To this wall like they are all the same exactly the same there is nothing different uh the lighting should be the same as well seeing it's glowstone so i don't know if you guys have a clue how to fix that please tell me because it is starting to annoy the crap out of me but uh pretty much in this a little bit i'm gonna go slash home base we're gonna go inside uh also if you guys are wondering what texture pack i'm using right now i'm not using my normal one i'm, I'm using my mates uh sandy uh, it's his pack. It looks freaking sick. I think I'm gonna start using this pack for a while because I I kind of started to get sick of my own. Uh, some of the things are the same, like the cobble. I, I really like the cobble, but I really like how bright and just lively this pack is. It is really, really cool, and uh, I really do love his pack. If you guys want, I may release it in the next episode if we hit let's say 60 70 likes i can't promise you anything though uh i do have to ask sandy first seeing it is his pack so um yeah i don't know the other thing i really do like is the uh crosshair as you can see it's quite small but it's still visible and very easy to use uh but at the moment what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to start digging up uh water layers because we need to get them done uh we need to get them uh done as soon as possible i really don't want to get upwards to, uh not that it's really that easy to do or very possible at all i'm pretty sure it doesn't work on most servers i'm almost certain it doesn't but i'd rather be safe than sorry um we still got a lot more things to do on this base we've got genning like all the walls we still got to do more sponge trays we got to do corner pillars and the sponge trays for them uh, what else do we have to do? We're gonna do the sand walls, and we've got a few other plans that you guys might like. Uh, I don't really want to disclose right now, seeing we're still in the plans of the base and everything like that. Uh, we're still gonna do the inside as well. Uh, uh we have one room designed already. It looks freaking sexy. I I'll promise you guys that, but, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and finish mining up this little bit here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get, uh, some ice... And uh, I'll probably do a little speed up of me doing the upwards layers. So I'll, uh, I guess, I'll be back in just a second. Hope you guys enjoy this little speed up and let's get started. Peace.
Okay guys, so finally this is probably going to be the final clip for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. I know there hasn't been too much uh, PvP or any raids this episode like there was on uh, last episode. But there hasn't really been too much to do today. It's mainly just been a lot of grinding, actually a ton of grinding lately. And uh, we're getting, starting to get close to the finishing the base I guess. It's still got quite a lot to do. It's probably going to take us at least another week at the bare minimum to finish. But uh, we're getting there, we're slowly getting there, we're slowly going to finish the base, and man, I am freaking loving this texture pack right now. Uh, Sandy, uh, this texture pack's amazing, and uh, I, hopefully I can release it to you guys. But pretty much, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go show you guys what we've done recently, and uh, show you guys what we've done today, I guess, sum it all up, and finish up today's episode. Also, if you guys could leave a comment down below, let me, letting me know what you guys thought of this sort of episode without any pvp or anything like that just like base grinding and base progress and stuff like that uh let me know down in the comments down below uh that would be appreciated sorry if i'm fumbling a little bit right now i'm kind of tired i'm just finishing up this last clip i'm gonna do one more clip uh for a little preface sort of thing to this uh clip because i gotta talk about a few things then i'm going to go ahead and uh probably go to sleep so and i'll like render and upload the video while i'm sleeping but uh pretty much yes we have the 20 walls on every side uh austin's an idiot and he made it 24 on this side when he was marking out the trays <laughs> i love you austin don't hate me but yeah uh we've done that uh we've also done the uh pouring trays for tomorrow uh all the way up here uh, we've got 20 chunks of pouring trays. We've also done the sponge trays for 20 chunks, so it's all ready to pour on that side, uh, which I'll probably show you guys in tomorrow's episode. Uh, we've also got uh, 20 chunks of sponge trays on this side as well. As you can see, I'm just going to fly up this one here. Uh, you guys can see how much freaking sponge trays. Like, look at all this sponge trays. This took us so freaking long. <laughs> Oh god, this was insane. Uh, we got one more side to do with sponge trays for the walls anyway. Uh, then we got to do corner pillar sponge trays. And, oh, that's going to be fun. There's still a lot of stuff to do. Uh, but damn, oh, this texture pack is so sexy. Just look at it. Look how beautiful this guy is. Look at it. But yeah, that's uh, 20 chunks of freaking sponge trays, guys. Um, don't think there's really anything else to show you guys. I finished the upwards cuts that I did the uh, speed build of. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, I've added collection system to the cactus farm, as you can see, uh, probably in the starting of this clip. Uh, and that is pretty much about it for now. We're getting really freaking close to uh, finishing this uh, base. Well, not really. It's still got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, but we're getting there. We're uh, getting a lot of progress on it, definitely. Uh, we're still also going to manually build, like, two other walls, which is going to be a bitch. But uh, I think we'll get there eventually. We'll get it done. Uh, as you can see here, this one is nearly built. Not that far up to go. I may finish that before I go to sleep, just depending on uh, what happens. It's not a big deal if I do or don't get it finished. But uh, other than that, we got one more wall to do, and then we're done there. And uh, we can just gen, gen, gen. Uh, corner pillars, walls, and then blast mine, and our base is done. So, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this today's episode, I guess you could say. Uh, I know it didn't have any PvP or any raids or anything like that. I'm thinking next episode may have a raid in it, just because we're starting to get kind of out of the, the like, the poorness of the first day or two, I guess you could say. Speaking of which, we're definitely out of it. <laughs> we're really freaking rich right now, but we are conserving our money for, like, spawners and uh, hoppers and stuff like that, so it's not like we can just spend our money on, like, 20 dubs of TNT, so if there is a raid next episode, it will most likely be a really small raid, so don't expect anything big. Uh, it'll probably be an addition on to whatever I'm doing. And finally, with regards to the Q&A for 2,000 subscribers, I will work on that tomorrow. I kind of wanted to give people as much time to put like comments down below as possible, just because I kind of want to make it a longish, longish Q and A. Nothing too big, and I had a few repeats of comments and stuff like that. So I just wanted to see if there was any more comments, and I've been still getting comments probably on a daily basis on that video. So if you guys have any more comments, leave them now because. 
I will be sorting through the comments tomorrow and uh, making the Q&A and probably releasing it with the factions episode as well. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If we could go for 60 to 70 likes, that would be appreciated. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and goodbye.